Hey guys, now we're going to get into, um, we, want the, we want the categories in the sidebar to be automatically generated and also the most popular. Now since this is located in basically a partial, uh, the sidebar, and you could say the same for the header and the footer, uh, we don't really have a controller for that uh, unless you want to, unless you want to put, um, code in every single controller where this is going to be on that page uh, but what I do in situations like this is use a helper alright and that's exactly what we did in the last project for the sidebar uh, we had a helper to uh, fetch categories from the database alright so let's go to our notepad plus plus and just want to close a couple things here for now um, first of all, you have to um, auto load, or not auto load, but you have to load your helpers. So in the auto load config file, I'm going to go up to helpers and I'm just going to add to it here. And it's going to be called the DB helper. So I'm just going to put DB and well probably use the form helper as well so let me put that in as well all right so i'll save that now i'm going to go to my folder my application folder and inside the helpers folder i'm going to create a new file and call it db underscore helper dot php okay now helpers um, are not classes they're just groups of functions so we don't have to worry about encapsulation or anything like that these are basically just separate functions okay so let's add a little comment here get categories alright so this is gonna be function we don't need public or private or anything like that function get underscore categories underscore H and the H the underscore H isn't needed it's just something that I do just to know that it's a helper function um, feel free to call it what you want now since we're not in a library we're not in a controller or a model so um, if we want to deal with uh, the database or a model rather you don't directly deal with the database in a helper you actually um, connect to the model but we can't say like this um, product model we can't do that uh, what we need to do is get an instance because we're not directly in a controller so um, to do that we want to create a variable I use CI all right for code igniter and I'm going to say equals um, get underscore instance all right and that'll bring a, a, um, a controller I'm sorry a code igniter instance into this function and then we can do things like uh, CI we'll say CI actually let's create a variable first categories let me get rid of this uh, categories equals CI product model get categories and then just return categories alright so um, usually you'd see this DB or, I'm sorry you'd see this uh, the, THIS keyword this um, but since we're in a helper we can't use that we need to get an instance to a variable and then use that that as an object to access our models and so forth um, mm -hmm. so obviously right now we need to create the get categories method inside of the product model so let's save that go to the product model
Okay, so here we'll say public function get categories. Um, this should be a really easy function. I'm just going to actually copy the get products. It's basically the same thing, just a different table. All right, so I'm going to change products to categories. And everything else should be the same. So let's save that. And then we should be able to, in our products, I'm sorry, in our sidebar file, we should be able to, to access the helper function, which will access the model, which will access the database. All right, so let's go to views layouts includes sidebar and find the categories all right so categories are right here so under this ul i am going to say php for each we want to say for each get um get categories h as category and we only need to take one of these and php end for each okay and now I'm going to get rid of all these so for every category in the database it's going to spit out a list item and of course we want to make this dynamic so let's replace this with PHP echo uh, category name. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, so we're getting an error. Undefined variable get categories H. All right, so this is actually a, our helper function. It shouldn't have a dollar sign. And let's make sure that's the name of it. Get categories H, yep. All right, let's try that. And there we go. Now you can see that these are being pulled from the database. Now basically I want these to link to the products controller. And actually I'm gonna have them go to products slash category. So let's just add that as a link to each category title. So we'll say PHP echo base URL. And then it's going to go to uh, products slash category slash and then the category ID. All right. So let's make sure that that does that. Products category two. All right, good. So now what we want to do is under most popular right now it looks like it's, it just has the category names but what we want is listings um, from our orders table okay so we don't have any orders now so I'm just gonna throw in some let me just log in here and I wanna go to orders and then insert and let me just fill in some stuff. Product one, user one, transaction ID can be zero, quantity one, price $59.99, address 55 Main Street, uh, Boston, Massachusetts, um, 01, nine five one all right so we have an order in there so what we want to do is we're going to do the same thing we're going to use a helper function so in db help um, yeah in db helper I'm just going to paste in a simple function all right so get popular h and same thing we're going to get an instance and then we're going to call this get popular function in the model and then just 
return the products. All right, so let's save that and then go to product model. And I'm just going to paste this in. All right, so with this example, we're actually using it like how our last project did. We're actually putting in the query. We're not just using this, uh, this style of active record. Okay, we're actually saying uh, select. Um, wait a minute. Never mind. We are kind of we are using the same the same kind of uh, syntax. Select p dot. What we're doing though is um, we're kind of using placeholders or not placeholders aliases. Um, we're saying select orders as o products as p that way we can differentiate fields by table so o dot product id is pertaining to the orders database p dot id is pertaining to the products database because what we're doing is selecting products but we're jo um, i'm sorry we're selecting orders but we're joining in the products table so that we can actually have things like the product title things like that available to us and then we're just saying we want to group by product ID uh, and then of course we're just going to order by um, total which is going to be the number of records returned I'm sorry not the number of records returned but the number of instances for each product if you have a product that has been ordered five times uh, and then you have a product that's been ordered once the one with five, the one that was ordered five times is going to be at the top of the list. That's what we mean with this order. All right, so hopefully that that was somewhat clear. Uh, so I'm going to save that, and in our sidebar, you can go down to this most popular, and I'm just going to overwrite this entire unordered list, make it smaller. So actually, um, we're saying for each get popular as popular and then we're just spitting out the title alright and we can actually have a link to the actual product so let's do that base URL and then it's gonna go to um, products slash details slash and then we want the ID so PHP echo uh, popular ID all right so if we s reload that now you can see most popular we only have one order so that's what's showing up is the destiny game all right and if we click on that it takes us to the details page so that's the most popular and I think that's good for now um, I, in the next video I want to get into we're going to create the cart controller so that we can actually add products to our cart and then ultimately um, we're going to use a PayPal class to actually um, bring the customer to PayPal to make payment.